Welcome back everyone. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can record your Figma prototype. So I've received a couple of requests on how to do this. So here it goes. If you know Adobe XD already has an inbuilt tool or a feature that helps you record your prototype. So that's great. But on Figma, there is nothing as such to directly do it. So I've got a method that works both for Mac and Windows. And I'll also be sharing some tips and tricks that will help you record more effectively. So make sure that you keep watching till the end of this video. And without any further ado, let's get started. So here I'm on my Figma desktop app and I have downloaded two free UI kits from the UI store. One is a meditation app and one is a user onboarding for a financial application. So I'll be using these two for the demo purpose. Firstly, kudos to these designers who put up such awesome designs for us to use for free. And I wanted to show you two variants and that is the reason I have a mobile version and also a web app. So I'll get started with this web app and then I'll show you how to record the mobile version too. And in this process, I'll also be sharing some tips and tricks how to record it more effectively. So once you have done your prototyping of the web app, head towards the play button or a present option here. And that should help you share your prototype. So here I have a share prototype button. Just click on that and say copy link. And now head towards your Chrome browser. Paste the link and load your prototype. So once your prototype is loaded, just go ahead and give a check if everything is working fine. So in my case, everything works fine. And now head towards the Chrome extension link that I mentioned in the description below. So Chrome has a lot of extensions to record your screen for free. I have tested a couple of them and I found this one was useful. But there are a lot of them, you can go ahead and explore them. But if you don't want to waste time, this one worked fine for me. So you can just install this one. So once it's installed, you should be able to see your extension here. Else it should be in this option of more. And just go ahead and pin it if you want to pin it on this bar here. And once that is done, just go ahead to the extension and click it. And that should open up a new tab for you. So click on the capture screen button here. And that should throw you a dialog box which has three tabs. Just click on Chrome tab and just select the tab that has the prototype loaded. In my case, it is page one user onboarding. I click on that and I say share. And now basically your recording of the prototype has started. Just interact with your prototype and once you have done, just click on the stop that you see here. And head towards the tab that you opened up before. And here you can see your video of the prototype is running. And once you are satisfied with it, just go to this three dots here and say download. And that's it. Your recording of your Figma prototype is done. And this one, if you notice, it is in a WebM format, but we usually prefer MP4 format. So I'll also show you how to get the MP4 format once I've showed you the mobile recording also. And one more thing, if you notice, it has black borders all around it. And if you don't have an editing software to remove this, uh, I'll also show you a trick how to get rid of this. So I'll close this and I'll head towards the mobile prototype, how to record it. So here I have the meditation app. I'll do the same thing. Go to present option here. Click on share prototype, copy the link and I'll head towards the Chrome browser and then load up the prototype. So if you have a look here, this is just the mockups and you can interact with it. But I have received a lot of requests where people wanted even the mobile frame to be a part of the video. So in that case, you will have to include that. But if you want just the mockups, you can go ahead with this. But let me just put up that also. So if I go to the file and I say prototype, you should see this option which is device. Just click on this drop down here and choose whatever you want. So I'll be choosing iPhone 11 here and that should load up here and also on your Chrome browser link. So here you go. So now everything looks good. Uh, I can head towards the record option, but that would record the whole thing here along with the black uh, part you see here, the background. So to get rid of that, you need to resize your browser. So I'll resize it to the part where I feel it's good to record. So if I resize it until here with this much border, it looks good. So this one looks good. So I head towards the extension here and I click on it. And I again say capture screen. You get the dialog box, click on Chrome tab. And in this case, it is meditation app. So I click on that and I say share. And now you can start interacting with your prototype. And once you have done that, click on stop and head towards the tab. And there you go. You have your recording. 
everything looks cool so i head towards this option here and i say download and you have downloaded the file and as i mentioned below this is in webm format all what you got to do is head towards google and say webm to mp4 converter you have a lot of free converters you can try out any of them but what i prefer is this one called as zamzar this is a pretty cool service which have a lot of conversions for free so just drop in your webm format here and say convert now and that's it they will convert it in a couple of minutes and you can download the mp4 format and before we end this video a couple of more tips here so if you can see this has a black background and if you don't want a black one you can always head towards figma and change that to your requirement so if i go to prototype mode here you'll be able to see the background option here so i can change this to white and you also have an option to change the phone's color so that can be white or black so you can play around with that so i make this black and if i head towards the browser here you can see you have a black background and you can record this part and if you're a mac user you don't need all these chrome extensions to record your screen or your prototype you have an app called as quicktime player which is already pre-installed on your mac so just open that one and go to file say new screen recording and you'll be able to see these extra options on the bottom so just choose this one which says record selected portion and then you'll be able to see a frame like this so just drag that frame to whichever portion of the area that you want to record so let's say this part just say record and basically your screen has started to record you can interact with your screen and once you're done just click this option here which says stop record and there you go you have your complete recording so that's it for this video guys i hope it was informative and helpful for you and as always if you like the video please give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click the bell icon thanks for watching